<laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! Such a thank you for um, giving us this honor to do an interview with you. Oh, it's, and, uh, it's an honor for me. <laughs> Like I said, uh, my husband Greg just went to pick up our eldest son and he will be here to join us in a little bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, that's totally fine. I could have done whenever too. This is, my kids are still up and all roaming around and I don't, this is probably the middle of your day. So yeah, I'm good for whatever time. And plus, you know how our communication was the last couple of days with me being gone. So yeah, but yeah, <laughs> how are you? Good, good. How are you? Can you what? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have plenty of those, I'm sure. <laughs> good, I'm adjusting. We getting home till like 3 30 in the morning last night. So it was a long travel day. Okay, should, should we start? Because Greg will just catch up like when he's already watching right now, so he you wouldn't have to repeat anything like when he gets here. Sure. All right. Yes, Kelly, you do need a big fat notebook to write some stuff down in. <laughs> Who are you? It's just in the comments. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, um, Kalitos. Hello. Thank you for being here. All right. So here we go. Hi, my name is Jenny. This is my voice, Clean Cash voice. And as always, I mean, we've we've had some other guests before, but today is another special day because our guest is no other than Steve Wiltz, uh, known as Ripple Time. Oh my goodness. Can you introduce yourself to us? That's me. Yes, that's you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm just easy going. I don't really have a agenda or whatever, but yeah, I'm Steve. I'm in Michigan. Um, Ripple Time started kind of with our whole journey on here, more or less. Um, it's not exactly as fitting as it, it was back then uh, for the things I put on out right now, but uh, there's what a story. Is, what do you mean? So Ripple Time started with um, <clears throat> back in, oh, I don't know, like almost two, well, almost three years ago now, shoot, uh, just putting out, uh, wow. So just put on my dad hat, go figure, right? When my kids were um, obviously three years younger now, <laughs> I had people texting me. So I'm gonna get interrupted all the way through here. But so it all started with, I was trying to teach them a lesson that everything you do in this world is either positive or negative and uh, it creates a ripple no matter what it is. So you know, if it's positive or it's negative, that's on you. And so we have these smile cards <clears throat> that I came up with a poem and wrote it on plastic business cards that we started handing out just around here locally. And I made a couple of video or I made a video about it and uh, I was wanted to give a thousand of them away. And so next few months just went like crazy with those. And I think there's probably a quarter million of them floating around the, like, the world right now. That's amazing. So this was like three years ago. Yeah. My goodness, time goes by fast. It's March of 2021. That's amazing. So, um, yeah, I, I thought, oh, this is going to be crazy. You know, like my video, I had just kind of started playing around on social with stuff. And and I think it, it got maybe like 70,000 views or something like that, right? And I was like, oh, my gosh. But <laughs> yeah. uh, from that, it stemmed like I got a whole bunch of people wanted to order them because I wanted to give as many of them away as I could. So I was trying to send like, I don't know, as many as I could fit in a card with, a, with the cost of a stamp, I think which was five um, to as many people just all over to hand out. And uh, from there, people were like, oh, can I buy these? I'm like, well, I never thought of it that way. And then that's where, I don't know, kind of took a turn for, hey, social media can reach, wow. you know, all, so, so, all sorts of stuff. And the monetization stuff is pretty cool too, so. But that's where Ripple Time came from, because I think I started this with my, I don't remember what the name was before. It might have been Creating Ripples, because I've always loved watching Jesse Perego stuff with um, Creating Wonders. 
So I was just imitating. I was like, oh, what if we're creating ripples? And so that's what it was based on. And then it went to ripple time. And now I've got that across all my platforms and I just kind of let it stick. So, yeah. But, but when did you guys start doing the whole marriage humor kind of like route? Uh, about a year ago, probably now. Maybe, a little, I don't know, maybe a little bit exclusively more or less that stuff uh, about a year ago. My main step on here was mental health. And I kind of found that, I mean, I still like doing bits and pieces of that here and there, but it's a lot easier to get people to laugh than it is to get them to actually look inside and understand why they're not happy in the first place. So, and I the most amazing thing with, I mean, kind of like with Coin Cash, like with Greg and me, like uh, the way we are doing our content, it's really relatable because, you know, especially not just for like married couples, but just for people who are in a relationship, because there's a lot of things that we can all relate to. And it's really amazing because I didn't even know that you followed us. <laughs> until that one time we did your sound and i'm like greg look at he they followed us and i didn't even know i felt so bad <laughs> i you know what you get so many i get i've been on a roll lately it's just it's been growing pretty exponentially and so i have no idea i can't keep up with them and see who it all is and i honestly don't get a ton of time to be on here and scroll too much there's some people in the comments right now that i'll go live with or i've had some really good friends come off of this app and i think that's the neatest thing about it too um you know it's just it's the relationship it's a new way to connect it was when i started playing around on here it was like the kids app right and i was just dancing and i wish sometimes we would just go back to some of that old school just just entertainment stuff instead of it being what it is now i mean there's a whole lot of tiktok shop stuff and advertisements and all that and you knew it was going to develop into that but you know, that's when we started kind of playing around on it. But yeah, we have done the, the funny marriage stuff for like about a year probably now. And that's just been fun. I don't know. It's a lot less draining because I did a lot of stuff on empathy and on mindset and uh, some really deep like thoughts and stuff that I was kind of battling through, I think, too, at the time. And that was just draining. It's really draining. That's actually so. really crazy because I was going to do like a follow up question about like what inspired you to start doing mental health kind of content in the first place, because you just said that you started doing marriage humor just a year ago. But um, is that something that you can like talk about, like what made you uh, feel inspired to start your channel that way in the first place? Well, I think it too it started with with the cards. Uh, and the message behind it, because I just feel like, especially in today's world, and my kids are 12 and nine, and they've grown up having social media and having technology and always being judged. Like when I grew up, I got bullied, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But then you would get home and it was gone. It was away. It didn't, it didn't follow you. But shit, nowadays, I mean, they come home from school and they're back, someone's back on Instagram or on some other social piece that they have and they can push them around on there and make them feel crappy there. So I think that was a big part of it. And also, I just don't think that enough people are okay with being vulnerable. I just, I got to the point where I just don't, excuse my language, but I just don't give a shit and actually don't excuse my language because that's just how I talk. So it is what it is, but I just, I just don't care. And you know, I'm like the, I'm super caring for other people but I don't really give a flying shit if you like me or you don't, or you don't like my comment or content or whatever. You realize really quickly how little it matters in the grand scheme of things. And, and so making jokes about stuff, my wife is an amazing sport because she never knows what's coming. And some of the things I think she's probably like, you're kidding me. You know, like we just had a fight about this. It'll be something that we just got to fight about. Mm -hmm. Or had a disagreement about or something, I don't know. And I'll make a video about it. And now she wants to just, cold clock me right then and there but i can get away with it because i'm doing it on a content piece so there's a little bit of <laughs> hidden agenda in some of those i have actually a question about that like later because there was this one content that you guys made and it was like really funny but then there was like a continuation and you're like outside like all like hurt like out in the cold <laughs> 
Those ones do really well, but I don't, I can't do them all the time because then it would just get old. It would just be boring, right? It's just every once in a while I'll say something that's super, I, I would think it would be offensive, right? But then, then, and so then I have to apologize or I'll throw a, a fake sling on or something like that. And those videos always do really well. So, I don't okay. know. I think I want to go back to, because you did mention about, like, you know, we can all see that you guys have kids like Greg and me. But um, you mentioned about the word bully, like the bullying situation. Was there like a bullying uh, incident that happened with your kids that actually made you come up with a content about it? Has that ever happened? No, I don't remember why. I don't remember why I originally wrote that. I don't know. I I like to write. Um, I'm good with words, and so I don't. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I think it was just having a dad talk, and they have come to hate them because everything I usually talk about is I look deeper. In the But so, yeah, I was just like, oh, cool. I'll show them a message. This will be kind of fun. And I got them to step outside their comfort box because it's, it's harder to hand someone that card than everybody thinks it is. It could just be someone that doesn't look like they're having a bad day or maybe they do look like they're having a bad day. I don't know. But they're just a fun way to pass it along. I don't remember there being a specific situation, though, with them. I don't know. Okay, like with all the life of your um, channel, have you ever, I mean, there's bashers and everything, but have you ever received like, almost like, I don't want to say it, even Greg doesn't like the word H-A-T-E. Have you ever, the word H, like, uh, have you guys received something like that to where you're just like thinking, where is this coming from? Like, you don't even know us. Like, what particular content do you remember that you posted that you guys received that kind of um, response from your viewers? Oh, I don't know. Some of them, I think I said, oh, I don't remember what it was. It was like calling women something. I can't remember which particular one it was. There was one that I just redid. It wasn't my joke, but it was like... Um, women get yeast infections because God wanted them to understand what it was like to live with uh, an irritating cunt every once in a while too. Oh, no. And it was funny. Uh, and, it, and I thought it was hilarious, but there were some people that didn't. So I don't know. I get them here and there, but it's not, it's nothing too crazy. Sometimes I'll get people that are, they want to stand on their soapbox and say that, you know, how can you say these things about women or blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, like there is a scroll function, which is just your finger and you can do that. Um, but if you actually were to stick around and stick around or even look deeper into it, if you look further back in content, you'll see that it's, it's really morphed. And I think you have to be flexible on, on this and, and with life too, um, in just how you're presenting stuff. So yeah, I get people that are hateful here and there. Sometimes the lighting that we use, is usually really cool lighting. And so, uh, Kristen's hair is like, it's silvery blonde. Yeah. And so she gets comments all the time, like, or I get comments all the time. Like, why are you saying that stuff in front of your mom or you're sitting there with your grandma? And I get those a lot. And honestly, it doesn't bother me other than like, you know, I know it would bother her. And I think she's actually become, she doesn't really care anymore, but I always come back with some smart ass. Like, Hey man, that's actually your mom. You know, she smells kind of funny, but she cooks and cleans. So I let her come over from time to time, like something snarky that just puts a stop to it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I agree. <laughs> okay. That so, um, people you, about it. yeah. Okay. So is there like a particular content that you posted that you got so much love from? Like, is there, um, you guys, you guys' contents are like, your videos are so amazing. Like it's really relatable, fun and everything. But what would you say is the most, um, interesting, like you actually got a lot of positive response from it. With Kristen and I, like back in, back when I was doing more of the highly empathetic stuff where I would really lay out like, Hey, this is how you are, who you are this is what you're feeling. 
um, that would get a lot of really good response. I never really got, ever got negative stuff when it was more that mental health stuff, but I honestly don't even pay attention. That stuff just doesn't stick in my head anymore. Um, as far as something good though, I did one, we, Kristen and I had just gone out for, we left the kids home, went out for drinks and came home and I did a one that was much more serious where it was, um, like taking time or intentionally making time for each other. And then there was no punchline. It was literally like, you know what, just that's your person. Remind them that that's your person, that kind of thing. That one got an overwhelming good response. And I've been meaning to do another one, but it, it seems like if I plan them, I don't like them. Yeah. It, it has to be like off the cuff. I just don't like them otherwise. So. Okay, so most of the, the, the videos or the content that you guys put up here on the social media, um, whose idea is it from? Is it mostly you or <laughs> you? <laughs> okay, so because you did mention that like if you plan something out, like it doesn't really work out and I get that. So is that like most of your stuff are actually just spontaneous or like is that No, like... no, I have like ideas ideas of what I want to say, or I have, I have this humongous, really long notes list that I keep in my phone of ideas of, of something to turn into a joke or I'll write kind of the joke out. And then usually it's like, like nights like tonight show work till should we home at like 11 and I'll pick one and be like, Oh, this would be a funny one. And I'll know kind of what I'm going to say kind of, but then when I just let it flow out, it's so much better. And so she got home like, all right, you gotta do a video. And she's like, I'm, again, I'm on the, I'm in the corner of the couch. I look like I just put on my fat pants and I got my hoodie on. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you should know this by now. Um, and that's what people always ask for her to do retorts and things back, like back and forth, but she doesn't do, she just doesn't, that's just not her forte. She can come up with them here and there. She just doesn't come up with them as well. So. So yeah, she, I can write them for her, but then my reactions aren't natural, which is fine. I think everybody would kind of guess that at that point, but who knows? Okay, so, you, so you have a TikTok account. You also have YouTube, um, Instagram. Um, which social media uh, platform are you guys more, um, kind of like your home? Because like with, with Clean Catch, it's, it's actually TikTok. <laughs> How about so you guys? Yeah, huh? you gotta, what is yours? What do you mean? What does cling catch mean? Oh, hey, this is your interview. No. <laughs> okay, sure. I, I did. I mean, our followers, especially because I'm Filipino, like um, our Filipino followers already kind of like know the backstory of why cling catch. Um, at first, I, it was cling with the letter K, because I already figured if I'm going to use the word cling, it's like, it's a word, right? So I, I changed it to letter K, but then somebody already has it. So um, I was like stuck with cling and I really liked cling. So one time we went to Greg's parents' house and they have this massive property and they, we were like out walking. And there's these things that are like catching on your socks, on your clothes, like these thorny things. And I'm like, cling, catch. I looked it up and it was available. Nobody has it. So I'm like, okay, let's grab it. Like the website, the name, all of that. So I grabbed cling, catch. And it's like not even close to my name because my name is Jenny. <laughs> so everybody calls me Miss Cling or um, Miss, Miss Jen. So that's the story, brief story of Clean Catch. But with you, so it's, oh, it, so I always, I get stuck I'm looking at the comments all the time. So I always see them as they're rolling through. And I just want to clear up with Kelly that this is not a Van Wilder thing, Ryan Reynolds. I lent that phrase to him for the movie. It actually is a Van Wilder thing. So when I say write that down at the end of all mine, <clears throat> that's where I probably had got it in the first place was, I don't even know when that movie came out years and years ago, but I've said it all the time since then, probably. So then I just started throwing on the end of them. 
but yeah, when people say, oh, it's, that's Van Wilder, I'm like, yeah, it is. But I lent, I lent the phrase to him. I don't think you could really trademark the phrase, but I don't know. I'm going to put it onto some clothing line or on some um, shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that. No, so. I'm not going to get to that question. Like, are, do you guys, I mean, obviously you do, but it's a, is that something that's already like in the making or is that just like a few, part of your future plans to do like a merch, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I actually had a meeting a couple weeks ago with someone because I always try and take on too much for myself and then I spread myself super thin nothing gets done. I get too stressed out and then I just want to walk away from it. Uh, <laughs> like let some do it. <laughs> well, that's what the thing is. Yeah, I'm just like, you get, I get, you get inundated with like tons of emails and if you guys aren't yet, you will eventually. I get so many emails for collaborations of like whatever and you let us make your t-shirts and let me do this and let me do that. And I didn't, I wanted it to be someone local and I didn't want it to be, you know, some offshore thing that I didn't have any control over. So I found someone uh, a couple weeks ago and I've had all these ideas um, and I'm actually sharing them with him, shared a bunch with him uh, over, uh, over spring break here. And so that should be That's fairly good. soon. Yeah. It'll just be, it's, it's going to be a, my vision for it at least is just where we write that down on the front and the back, we'll have the, some of the different sayings. So we'll just leave, start with a few. Cause I think it'd be hilarious if I was in line somewhere or whatever, and I'm reading somebody's shirt that had, yeah. you know, whatever marriage is like, uh, peeing on yourself, you know, whatever. Some, some, one of my stupid phrases, I think it'd be awesome for that. So and I think, I think that'll, I think they'll do well. So I'm going to wear them everywhere. I know that. So. Okay. Um, I kind of know already, like from a few minutes of having this conversation, I would say that you're a thinker. Are you uh, like a deep thinker? <laughs> Come on. Greg's already here. He's on the phone. <laughs> Come on, join us. Yeah, and I hate it, honestly. Um, it's a curse kind of to the same point where everything gets more complicated than it needs to be. It feels like sometimes. So Eve, what's up? <laughs> Let me move here. I hear my voice come out of your mouth a lot. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I, I will, for one want to say thank you for the way you guys do them. Um, because, and I don't care. I know things are going to get stolen and copied and everything like that online but i can't stand when someone does that and then they post it as their own sound yes and not give it, credit it, and there's nothing yeah no credit nothing i get tagged in all these comments and i'm just like you know like i really don't care all that much but i do you know you know i grew up like give respect and if it was someone else saying it then at least tag them throw them in somewhere i try and do that in anything that i use or if i use anything on there so I don't know. I just expect it back. So I do appreciate the way you guys always do it. I really appreciate, we appreciate it that, um, you, you did notice that because when we do, uh, lip sync and everything, we always uh, give credit to the sound creator, but then there are some situations where, and I've noticed some big creators who does mostly does lip syncing that they would just like put like SC unknown, please tag, the original creator because we don't know who who really is the the original creator of the sound but yeah, thank you really, is it june and something or other i don't know they do they always have like their faces painted they're always in dark background they use one, dark background i can't remember, i can't think of what their name is right now but i put in there the yeah, i was like thanks a lot for and you know credit for the original blah 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 you know you they're a larger creator they're probably 400 500 000, i think maybe i don't know I'm like, I would think that someone that's been around the block a little bit would have common courtesy. And so they kind of got all, we went back and forth in the comments, which they're like, well, I found it on Facebook. And it, it does, they, they get shared around. And when you share them across platforms, it doesn't always carry through. You know what I mean? It's harder to find it. Like if I use a sound on here, if you use it on here and then you turn on, you post it on Facebook, <clears throat> either if it's, there's no credit for it on there, then um, it won't ever match up, which is whatever. But they're just like, yeah, I found it. Don't know who the original 
didn't know who the original was. I'm like, well, mention that. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. To me, that's just a, a respect thing. But I guess I, I'm over it. It just it's just an annoying thing to me. And you're fine, Mark, for taking my sound and using it. I think it'll be okay. What's funny is what's funny is sometimes you, uh, people will will accuse you of stealing a sound even though you put the sound credit yeah. in the the text. Like people never read the details of the text. Yeah, they immediately jump they in jump. and say, "Hey, like at least give credit to the sound creator or something like that." Well, they always want to jump in real fast. <laughs> I, I love just starting fights about anything. But. Hey, um, is it is it okay if? you can like briefly share to us like how how did you and Kristen your wife meet we were drunk at a bar one night <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's this a good way like... to meet <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we, we had mutual friends we didn't know that at the time or whatever I don't think but uh yeah we met at the bar um just hanging out with friends so there was no grand door story to it. We grew up on opposite ends of town. Um, and yeah, we all started, you know, started hanging out from there and we actually broke up for six or nine months in between. And then uh, got back together and the rest is history. So we've really kind of been together for maybe 17 years, 18 wow. years. Same, same. Yeah. <laughs> well, your, well, what's your story? This the interview can't just go one way. I can't do that. I got to know about you guys too. I got a question. I got a question for you, Steve. What was the pickup line you used to uh, break the <laughs> ice with Kristen? So I, I actually distinctly kind of remember this, and it wasn't anything I even said to her. I don't think, but we would always go down to this. It was kind of a dive bar club that we would hang out at, and there was a dance floor, and everybody would be dancing. I don't like to dance. I can kind of dance, but I don't like it. It's like one of my major like insecurities I had back then too. And so I'd always stand at this pole and just, just stand there. It was like me and a couple other guys just didn't want to dance. We just stand at the pole and drink beers and do our thing, whatever. And so there wasn't a pickup line, but she's like, come and dance. I'm like, yeah, I don't dance. I think it's <laughs> like the first thing I said to her. I don't even know. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't do that. So I remember, like even at our wedding, I think, um, I mean, we danced, you know I mean? And I, I do a little bit here and there just to kind of make her happy, but I'm like, I'm never going to dance. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> so, that'd be my, my pickup line, I guess. Okay. So if, if you guys are a, like a color, like what would be your color and what's Kristen's color? Color? <laughs> I, don't know. I have a ton of blue stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Blue's always kind of been my favorite color. That's a weird question. Not a weird question, but just one I guess I never thought of. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. To me, she's like yellow. She's bright because she just, I don't know, she makes me smile. And um, that's what she is to me, but she doesn't really wear a lot of yellow. So I don't know. Oh, but you guys are kind of coordinating right there. She's more like she wears grays and blacks, and I wear grays and blues and greens. I don't know. When I find something that I like, I just I kind of stick with that. I'll buy like five pairs of jeans at one time of the same exact jean because if I don't, then they go into a new style, and when I need them again, they don't make them, and I have to go and I have to try them on again. I don't like shopping. Yeah. So, oh, you, too, huh? you don't like shopping as well. Oh, I hate it. I absolutely <laughs> <laughs> wait. Do you do you hold your wife's purse for her ever? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's probably never asked me yet. Probably because she knows I wouldn't want to. I mean, okay, maybe maybe a handful of times, I guess, in certain situations. But yeah, we don't uh, we don't go shopping together because I dad shop and she uh, she Kristen shops. <laughs> and she buys things for everyone but herself. And I'm like, go shopping for yourself. Don't even, just stop buying me stuff. I don't even want any more things. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a shopper. Not at all. The, the way as it is now, like, um, I mean, obviously, it, 
it seems like this marriage humor route that you shifted the ripple time to, it seems like it's working out great for you guys. But um, do you guys have like bigger plans? I mean, you did mention about the merch and everything, but other than that, do you guys have like bigger plans for for your channel? Not really. I mean, I guess I mean, anything's possible. Um, so when I think about it, I've always kind of envisioned, I want to eventually share more and more like about, I love the mental health stuff. I mean, and I think extremely deeply, I would love to be up on stage and do some motivational stuff. Um, because that is extremely fulfilling to me. <clears throat> And so I love that we do this. Like I said, we do this because it it's easy to make people laugh. And I still get a lot of really good responses from people that say, hey, you know what? You're the bright spot in my day. That's what means something to me. Like, ah, you're funny. I love you. You're a philosopher. Like, that's funny. Right. But I love getting the com getting the comments and the messages and emails that are that say, you know, you you made me smile today. Thank you. Please keep it up. Right. And I think this world is such a complete shit show and people don't have, they don't feel like they have an outlet or an access or access to an outlet. Uh, even though they might have it, they aren't available. <clears throat> and there's a lot of creators on here that will, you know, can be there for people too. But I think that would just be awesome to be, you know, on stage you can comedy and then sending a message with comedy. I think is a huge opportunity. There are people that do it already too. And you have to, I've had to get past that, that uh, imposter syndrome. I'm like, okay, what am I? Like I was some 40 year old dude making stupid jokes on a TikTok and, you know, Facebook and Instagram. I'm like, what, what am I doing? Um, but it makes a difference. And I think, you know, as you kind of start to I think my grander plan is to curb that into something else where it's more relationship and life based and, and just kind of head in that direction. But I don't know. I've never been a huge planner. I just know whatever makes me happy seems to work out pretty well in the end. So, yeah. Do you have like a person who you're, you look up to, like, it seems like you really, your passion is all about like mental health and all that stuff. Do you have like a specific person or like, um, what do you call that? Like a, kind of like a mentor yeah. uh, type of person like you, you look, look up, up to, to that you get maybe inspiration ideas from. from. I don't, inspiration from, I don't know. I watch a lot of different stuff or I, I listen to a lot of stuff like Ed Milet, uh is a really good speaker. Um, Jordan Peterson has a, that guy's the the craziest wealth of knowledge on on so much mental stuff. There's a documentary, um, gosh, what's it called? It's on Netflix. It's like Kitsch or something like that. And um, there's a psychologist, but I don't know that there's a specific person. I kind of just have always garnered a lot of my knowledge from multiple things. Um, one was thing. It like, was it like based off of your experience, like what you went through in life like before? I mean, I, I can say for one, I, I've experienced bullying growing up. So, you know, like with all of us, I think the way we are as people, it's all based on what we learned from the past and what was done to us, what was said to us. Is it more like that for you? Yeah. I mean, if you really look at any of the stuff that you or any of us, I think deal with nowadays, so much of it just goes back to childhood trauma. And even we want to call it trauma. I think it's just misunderstanding almost to a point. You just don't know what you're going through and you don't understand how to handle it. And I don't, and that's something I worry about with my kids, but I also don't know how to address it with them or get through to them all the time. I think we all just end up having it, right? You're just gonna, it's just always going to be a thing. Um, and bullying to me, like, is a scapegoat. I, I think words a lot of time are scapegoats because when we label ourselves as something, 
like when people wanted to label themselves as an empath or label themselves as whatever, I don't know, overthinker or whatever. And then they sit and they stay tried and true to that identity. When in reality, you're like 95 identities, but it gives them a reason to justify to not make themselves better or to look deeper into it. And so it's like, well, yeah, it's all childhood trauma. Well, a lot of it goes back to childhood. Was it really trauma or was it your dad yelling at you a couple of times and you freaked out and never addressed it? Which is things that we deal with now. <laughs> right. But, um, so I don't know. I just, I don't know. I see things. One of my, one of my things I know that, uh, drives my family a little crazy sometimes too, is I see things from like as many perspectives as I can. And so, I can be really hard and fast on some opinions and then the next day or an hour later be like, well, but if you look at it from this side, I guess I'm not fully right. And I'm always doing that. And it's just, that's exhausting. Yeah. So. I think I can actually kind of relate with what you said, because it's almost like you're replaying the things that um happened and so you're trying to be like really understanding with everybody's feelings <laughs> so you you yourself is kind of like confused exactly what you're trying to especially if, when you start explaining yourself <laughs> to your family it, it can get confusing to the people who are listening to you so i get it but um how how many kids do you guys have we have two girls Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. What's your name? My name's Tenley. What? Tenley. 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 Hi. Nice to How do you spell you. that, Tenley? T-E-N-L-E-Y. Hi. That is such an interesting name. Nice. <laughs> to meet you. You're so pretty. Thank How you. How old are you, Tenley? I'm nine years old. Okay. Oh, like like our third boy. He's also nine. <laughs> Look at your hair, my goodness. So adorable. Thank you. Yeah, they've had a nice, <laughs> lazy, relaxing day after being in the sun for a week and a long day yesterday. They're a little burnt, so we're all kind of a little red here. My face is peeling. Yeah. Emily, who do you think you look like more, your dad or your mom? I act more like my dad, but I look a little more like my mom. <laughs> your sister um my sister well, she kind of looks like you a little more she looks like <laughs> my dad a little more and then are we kind of like the offset i don't know she's 12 know. so she's she's 12 so i think she just kind of acts like Drama queen. everyone oh, oh. <laughs> This one's a little drama queen sometimes too, mm -hmm. but I think they all are, as we were too. But yeah, too, you know. too bad. Like, um, uh, Kristen is um at work. Maybe I don't know if, if you guys are up for it. Like, we can do this again with with her, with us. Yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Do you guys do? Do you turn this into like? other content at all or anything like that um i i mean like when i do like an interview like this i post it on youtube same username clank catch um basically i i i wasn't actually gonna do any live stream anymore this year like i just want to like take a step back from doing live stream but then there was like this talk of supposedly this app probably going away so i'm like thinking you know if it's if this app is gonna go away then i'm just gonna go ahead and do the interview for as long as this app is around but i don't think it's gonna go yeah anywhere. i don't i personally don't think it's gonna go anywhere i think it's just you know news that it's you know who knows hmm? but it's a distraction but there's a there's a whole rabbit hole world out there and that that's rough too so i think about everything right we already established that but then you start to think of like okay what's really true what's really going on and then then you really want to just crawl into a hole and just sleep 
forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because like this, I don't think this will go away. However, they did. I think they did know that um, some of their plans couldn't actually truly happen or some of like the ultimatums with a certain app truly couldn't happen. Um, yeah, without like, I don't want you, I don't want to get you guys kicked off. <laughs> we'll read, we'll Thank read you. between. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this is like the first time that we we're having this conversation, but I appreciate that. Um, what do you call that? Like, you're like, you're, you wanted to say something, but you're just like filtering you're, it. You're being intelligent. <laughs> yes. So thank you. Socially intelligent. Certain channels, like some channels will talk about a lot of this stuff uh, on a regular basis. And if, if I happen to jump in with them, they're used to that. Right. But that's not what this interview is about. And we don't need to go down any of that pathway. So yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. But, yeah. Sorry. Our eldest wanted to. Um, go hang out with his He's friends. He's going to go out and skateboard with his buddies. <laughs> All this. Yeah. Yeah, but um, let's let's go back to uh, the mental health um, topic. If there are some parents here who are dealing with, um, you know, their kids getting bullied and stuff, like, what would you tell them? Like, what can you advise them? Because like I said, right, like this is the very first time that we're having this conversation. There was this one live that we did last year and we talked about this bullying thing. Um, and we, Greg and I addressed that situation already with our viewers. But for you, since it's your passion about the mental health, like, can you tell them something like if their kids are going through like the whole bullying thing? She's laughing for some reason. I'm not 100% sure what, way, but I can only imagine what it is. Hey, Casey. Um, but I think it's 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 different coming from a dad or or a mom or if it's a boy or if it's a girl. Would you like to explain something to them? What are you? What would you say? Last year, I said I was getting bullied, and then my dad said to like kick. Like, if they hit me with a footbox, once they did, my dad told me to hit them back with the football. <laughs> oh my God. Cats out of the bag. <laughs> it just, I think it's big. It's different between boys and girls. The way where boys handle it uh, is different than girls. And growing up, it was like if you wanted to settle a score, you just settled a score. That's you know, that's how you kind of did it. And I don't think that it was even. I think it was just I was very insecure growing up too. And that didn't help until, you know, like, you know, later on in elementary school, maybe. So I don't know how much of it I was really. Wait, did you get bullied? I mean, I can, you can call it bullied. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just think we all kind of go through it. I think the. I would say so. The, like, the I think I think it's too yeah. yeah. Do you have siblings? I have two younger sisters. Yeah. Oh. How's that growing up with? With sisters, <laughs> uh, hair, and he's like the oldest, so he always did the hair. He like helped out, <laughs> and I tell him he can't do the hair, do my hair, because I'm like, oh, I can't do my hair, and he's like, you don't get it. I grew up with mm -hmm. two sisters, and I used to do their hair. All the time. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that really helps now that you have two daughters. You know, because um, they don't think I can do anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is your dad good at uh, doing hair? Would you I, say he's good at ponytails? I've never had him do anything else with my hair because I don't trust him. Sometimes I don't trust him with braids because I'm scared he's gonna put my hair in a big knot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hey Tanley, since you're here, I want to ask you, like, if there's something that you want to say to your dad that you haven't said yet, can you tell him now? I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like is, is he like a like what's his best quality as a dad like oh um cheering me up and pushing me to my limits <laughs> oh, yeah, like two different things i was like that's Aw. a good combo for sure <laughs> it depends on what yeah. limits right i think she pushes herself to her limits by herself mm -hmm. on certain things pushing you to do better yeah there you go you say whatever you want to, though. Yeah. No, I think a lot of it's communication because you get older sisters like the one that's going to walk by here in that two seconds. So and she thinks that she's super cool by, you know, mocking her little sister. Yeah. She knows everything, you know, at 12. I'm actually and, smarter than her. And dad, dad's and mom. Yes, you are. Dads and moms don't know, you know, don't know anything. And so... So, you know, we deal with that. But, okay, so um, I don't know if you know, we have four boys and, you know, now, you know, you're talking about like you have two girls. What's the biggest struggle having just all girls in the house? It's a lot of energy. <laughs> I mean, there's not all girls in the house. There's one boy, but it's a dog. So, I mean. Okay. <laughs> It's not really a person, but yeah, and I got the dog so that we had some testosterone in the house. That was the sole reason <laughs> that I wanted a male dog. And uh, no, I think it's just a lot of energy, and we like have another girl dog. in in the terms of of feeling energy, not like exuberant energy. There's that too, but um, emotions, emotions, and energy—they're wonderful. Are Are you ready though? Like when that or. Has she been through that thing, like the whole time of the month thing? Oh, that one back there? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's going to get a, le a lot crazier. <laughs> I know. No, I'm not ready at all. But are you really ready for anything? Right? You guys are so weird. You're making fun of me. We're not making fun of you. I'm stupid and I know everything, so stop. I didn't say you were stupid and that you know everything. I said that I don't know anything. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's <laughs> It'll be even better when there's, when this one is there and then we get them to, you know, is where? sync up and then we get double, double that, double that stuff all the time it's gonna be great who do you think is the sweetest it's oh, not fair to say yeah you shouldn't yeah we can't play this game because i will get into so much trouble no matter what i say i want you to don't trick questions she's probably in there watching us see same see she's listening i hear this she says she shut her door but then she goes oh the heck you can't i want to hear this <laughs> no we're not playing that game it's only Tanya. He likes my little sister more. Both my parents don't like me. My oldest says that both of her parents. I used to. Both of her parents don't like her, and we like her little sister more. What do you do? Hey, Tenley, do you have like a sweet message for your older sister since she's watching right now? Um. She'll just laugh at me if I say it, cause like she'll get mad at me and she'll be like, "You don't mean this." Mm -hmm. Um. Do you say? It. Thank yeah. you. Cause sometimes she's yeah, really mean. Stop talking about me. I'm talking about you. Go shut your door. <laughs> <laughs> um. Because I can only imagine that they're best friends. I mean, there's just the two of them. And, you know, like we have four boys. Um, sometimes we find it like uh, two boys would like be more like best friends. It's almost like they get divided into two groups. And then depending on the situation on what kind of toys they're fighting over, then they team up with another. <laughs> So I can only imagine how fun it is at your house with two girls because, you know, like there's whole thing of like getting their hair done and the nails and the makeup. We kind of envy you guys because 
you can probably tell we really want a girl like we ended up with four boys but all it matters for us is that we have four healthy boys but um this this has been fun like maybe next time we should do it with uh, your wife Kristen when she's available when you guys are up for it yeah absolutely we'll do it later on when these two are sleeping maybe <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, before, before we end, I, I want to do this because I always start with, hi, my name is Jenny. This is my voice, Clank Cash voice. Kindly honor us by doing that. So you're going to say like, hi, my name is either you use um, Steve or Ripple Time or you, you're going to say like, hi, my name is Steve. This is my voice. And then you can say whatever you want to say about yourself. This is your platform. This is your stage. See, this is where I'm not good at. I don't like to like... <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve. Um, this is my voice, and then you can say whatever you want to say about yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Steve. This is my voice. And I'm here to create a giant ripple in this world. How that is created is yet to be completely seen. And I think it always will be. That's what I'm here for. Have fun. I Teach you everyone some good stuff and maybe pay some bills at the same time. <laughs> you know what? Like in, in behalf of your followers, your viewers, I mean, obviously we are your followers too. We just want to thank you because your the existence of Ripple Time is such an, a positive, um, it's like one of the positive things here on the social media because like what you said you know your true passion is about mental health and all of that so it's easier to make people laugh than have to deal with you know the the problems or why people are upset or why people are sad and angry and all that but thank you for making us for the daily dose of laughter your marriage humor content is so relatable that's why we lip sync your 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 um the your videos because it's something that <laughs> is totally relatable it's really crazy like sometimes like we would we would look at your videos i'm like hey this is so us and that's why people follow you because it's like we are all watching like from a different uh like different people but that's that's us right there <laughs> Right. So people are like sharing your videos like crazy. And guys, um, Steve also has an Instagram account. Um, I think, I believe you guys it's, are uh, at uh, 146,000 followers on Instagram. They also have, but you go ahead and tell us, like, um, what are your other <laughs> accounts? I'm like speaking for you. <laughs> Find us on Instagram or on Facebook. And Facebook, yeah, I oddly too. turned my regular profile into this professional profile and that's where we have 205,000 followers on there maybe just under steve wilts youtube we also have and i think i've changed that name a little bit there's a few thousand on there that's it's under ripple time too. it's ripple time or steve wilts i think if you google just steve I wilts can. they come up under everything so mm -hmm. um, i also want to promote um see i'm like doing it now Follow his wife's account too, uh, Mrs. Yes, with a yes, Korean yes. Ripple Time, here on TikTok, guys. Um, sis Mel, pakitype nga yung ano, uh, Mrs. Uh, M R S period Ripple Time. She's also here on TikTok. Do follow his wife, uh, his wife Christine's um, account here on TikTok. But this has been such an honor. Thank you, thank you. I was actually, to be honest. I was actually kind of like, man, I wonder what happened. <laughs> so now I know about your phone situation, but you came through and I really, I really appreciate it. We appreciate yeah. you. We'll have to, we'll definitely have to do it again. Um, we'll get Kristen in here and do some couples back and forth chatting. That's and fun. When to do I'm too. sleeping. <laughs> yes. And please, please make more of your sounds because we love to do your yes. sounds. Seriously. Not anytime soon. They're fun. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. And now you have my number too. We can text back and forth and 
Yeah. She ideas and whatever. I know it's not phone number yeah. two. They're out in California. For everybody who watched and uh, engaged on the comment section, uh, Tanley, it was really nice meeting you. This was like a very pleasant surprise yeah. <laughs> that we got to meet you too. Merong period assessment, MRS period ripple time for Kristen's. Um, yep. Yep. With the period. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you, Steve. And I hope everybody have a great, great night. And let's plan another live with Kristen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. See ya.